This video is going to be an awesome, badass character design. Oh, that's convenient. Uh, episode! Yeah! That worked out better than I expected. G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and today I'm going to be doing a bit of a character design session I'm going to come up with a few different character designs with the help of the Twitch chat and the RT Games app. Here's how it's going to work. Well actually, here's how it's going to work. That's the perfect example. I'm going to randomly generate five random letters of the alphabet and using those letters in the order that they're generated, I'm going to come up with an idea as to the character using the first letter as a first letter of each consecutive word and then Twitch are going to come up with a few ideas and then vote on the one that they're going to pick and I will draw it and we'll do that a couple of times and see how this turns out. Now to do this, I'm using the RT Games app. This is a game that I've developed which has a whole bunch of, as you might have guessed, Party games, including color challenges, character challenges, environment challenges, and more. There's an arty game mode where you can just rapidly go through a whole bunch of different ideas. This is great to like come up with ideas for character generations of your own. If you're struggling to come up with ideas or you want to warm up for your own arty session, you could draw a circus worker that possesses a powerful artifact with squinty eyes or a bottlenose dolphin who is feeling over emotional reading a <laughs> romance novel. There are literally billions of combinations and ideas that you can generate in this app so I'll link to it in the card in the description for you to check out for your own RT fun times but those combinations are actually not including the custom generator which I'm going to be using today in the custom generator you can create up to five randomly generated sections and they can be filled in with a whole bunch of lists that you make so you can see I've made some monsters and animals lists in the past I made an alphabet list today and in the alphabet list are all of the letters of the alphabet and at the bottom I've added number 27 is a wild card, meaning if that pops up, I can pick a letter that I find to be most fitting. Having filled in all of those slots with all of the alphabet options, if I generate, as you can see, it's going to come up with a combination of letters from the alphabet for our episode today. And every now and then it'll come up with, wait for it, ding, wild card. So that's how this works and uh, there's no time like the present to get started. So let's see what our first combination is. D-O-Y-D-D. -D. I'm going to overthink this, aren't I? Probably. A, a debonair. <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh. Legark. <sighs> Man. My brain is not working well today. Y youth, youthfully dancing disco. <laughs> Perfect. All right, what do you got, Twitch? Drunk overpowered yacht devil dork. I like it. Man, you guys just come up with it. Deadly orange young devil donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Dangerous, <laughs> dangerously obese yak drowning dully. That's an interesting use of a, a adjective. Is an adjective verb? I don't know. Dashing old yelling divorced dad. This this is great. I could just keep doing this. <laughs> this is really fun. Dank old YouTuber disco daddy. <laughs> Let's be honest. That's going to be me, just with some disco clothes on. Disrespectful old yelling demonic dog. That's pretty special. All right, it's hard to beat that. This is this is an amazing list. All right, Twitch is voting on the results and the winner is Dank Old YouTuber Disco Daddy. All right, I know I get flack for drawing my avatar a lot, but I mean, who else would it be? We'll smash this one out pretty quick and uh, get on to a few more because we know exactly what this is gonna look like. I suppose we should add a few more years if we're going for a proper old YouTuber. So I guess this is gonna be a glimpse into my future. Got some age lines in there. Let's uh, let's go real disco here. Th this this is uh, this is looking pretty majestic so far. We need the nice big disco collar and let's go a little more flary in the pants. But we're get we need more of a dad look, so I'm gonna hitch up the pants a bit. I think I should draw my son all grown up, and he'll be just over here looking a bit disappointed. There you go. That's his embarrassed face. Now I'm predicting what my son's gonna look like when he's older. He has dark curly hair, so let's just sort of go with that, and he'll have a. This is a backpack. He's like, Dad, leave me alone. I'm going to school. This is exactly what my future looks like. All right, nice big play button belt. 
There you go. This looks pretty damn beautiful. <laughs> it's had a nice hairy chest in here. I'll probably uh, rug up as I get on in years. All right, I think that's pretty accurate to how my future looks. Let's slap in a little bit of color here. He looks nicely embarrassed back there. I think he's missing just a little bit of lush. There we go. A little bit of, <laughs> a little bit of a nice embarrassed hue on the face. So let's go with like a, a nice YouTube red <laughs> for our studio. That definitely gives that uh, YouTuber disco daddy look. Let's keep the shoes white, nice white platforms. And then my son can be in some sort of school uniform back here ready to head off to school and just looking really embarrassed. Okay, off to a great start. This is the exclusive look at what my midlife crisis <laughs> will look like. So this is gonna be me in about 15 years time. I'll be a dank old YouTuber disco daddy. At the moment, I'm just a dank YouTuber daddy. So I gotta just get a bit older and a bit more disco and here we are. Please don't start calling me dank daddy. All right, what do we got next? You ready? Boom. T-N-M-G-Z. All right, I'm gonna go first and I'm gonna say Teenage Ninja <laughs> Mutant. That's so, that, it's so close, I just had to go with it. Um, God, gorgeous, I don't know how to spell you, gorgeous. Gorgeous zebra. <laughs> Z, Z, Z is a tough one. Z or Z, Z, Z. All right, what do we got? Ideas from Twitch. The nicest man goes zombie. I like that. Tired noodle making giant zombie. Totally nauseous. I don't know how to spell it. Nauseous man grabbing zippers. Two new mums go zip lining. <laughs> Terrifying noble men making gun zaps. <laughs> All right, this, this is our list. Twitch are voting on these. This process of just coming up with the names is as much fun as actually drawing them. All right, and the winner of this round is Two New Mums Go Zip Lining. I like this one. I actually had an immediate picture in my head for this, so I'm looking forward to putting it down. I think these mums should be like adrenaline junkies and even though they've just had their like their first babies, they're straight out of the hospital and right into the zip lines and the babies are gonna have to try and cope with that. <laughs> Welcome to the world, baby. That's how they, that's what they're saying in my head. I love the mum in the background here. She's holding up the baby like, oh, I don't know how the, no one knows how the words to that Lion King song goes, but you get the idea. One of these. All right, now I'm gonna focus on getting the best expressions for these ladies as possible. There's a bit of derp in those eyes, but that's okay. I think uh, I think the the giant zip line can encourage that in people sometimes, as probably can the efforts of birthing a child. <laughs> I just need like a petrified expression on the child's face. <laughs> Do you know what? I, I see myself as, as a bit of a modern style parent. You know, everyone has their different styles and, and I think if you, give birth and you want to go do some dangerous extreme sports with your baby in your arms, you know, good for you. <laughs> That's not true, I don't think that. But hey, who? I don't know everything about parenting. No one's a perfect parent. <laughs> I'm gonna, st I'm gonna stop talking now. Let's get a few of these bad boys happening. A few of the mega speed lines. Maybe, uh, maybe some tears, uh, sort of welling up in the eyes and I'm going out, mainly just because of the air and the wind, not, you know, like, depression or anything. She, she's not doing this because she's irresponsible. <laughs> I really need to stop talking. All right, let's smash in some colors. Hey, look, this Cobra color is fittingly called baby skin pink. So I guess that's for this baby's skin. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm pretending like that's a joke. It's just a fact. Someone said she looks like Miss Frizzle from the magic school bus. I'm inclined to agree. Oof, this mark is sounding a bit dry. I'm sorry. 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 I feel like I need to add some like red to the eyes just around the edges, just for that slightly <laughs> manic edge. <laughs> like she's not been getting enough sleep and she wants to feel alive again. There we go. There we go, all done. We have two new mums that are going zip lining. I think that is just beautiful. It's the miracle of life and the miracle of living life to the fullest, whether everyone participating wants it or not. <laughs> all right, let's do one more. 
Ready to randomly generate our next batch. Boom! Oh, we have a wild card and some very tricky letters. This is the one to finish on. UX something HQ. Oh no. There's bound to be a lot of ideas with xylophones and x-rays. Ultimate x-ray um, superhero queen. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to take more suggestions now. Unsatisfied Xenomorph begins hippie quest. Underage X-Men complete helpful quizzes. Someone wrote this. I don't even know what this word means. I have to Google it. Xenodochial is an adjective describing something such as a person, place, or software application that is friendly to strangers. Underpants, Xmas gnomes, horde, quesadillas. <laughs> All right. I think this, this is a, a fairly impressive list of options given how friggin' restrictive <laughs> this generation is. All right, everyone has been voting and the winner is Unsatisfied Xenomorph beginning their hippie quest. Okay, let's do it. Oh god. I mean, this this idea generator method is nothing if not surprising and able to bring up things that you may not come up with on your own. Although, I didn't come up with this on my own. I had the help of Twitch chat. So, if you're running low on ideas, use the Idy Games app and stream and use other people's ideas as well. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start off by drawing a, a nice big happy xenomorph head. We got our <laughs> xenomorph alien giving the peace sign. I don't know how to make him look more freaky. He's got to look enough like a xenomorph before we put the hippie onto it. Here's my rough foundation. Now I need to figure out some hippie things. I think it's important for our little friend here to have like a little neck chain with the peace sign. And I think our big xenomorph could probably do with a mustache. And I feel like he needs a guitar hanging over his shoulder. So he's the guitar hanging out there. He's writing some folk songs. I feel like he needs like a, a vest with an open top so we can see his horrible ribs. And it could be like a tie-dye vest, like nice and colorful, and we'll give him like a load of bangles and like armbands and stuff. And let's just give him a loincloth because he's a bit of a bit of a free spirit. He likes to feel nature's gusts of wind. Oh, and we need a headband. Here we go. There's our headband. <laughs> this is so dumb. Oh my god. We got some nice drool drips here. There's our hideous rib cage. This guy looks like an icon of hippie culture. All right, that's a pretty good foundation to work from. It's time to add some colors and we're gonna <laughs> have a mix of really bleak, freaky gross alien colors and just like really bright, vibrant hippie colors. I'm getting the suggestion from Twitch that they're not a real hippie unless they're smoking pot. So I'm just gonna give this tiny little mini freaky alien mouth inside his mouth a joint. <laughs> Make love, not intergalactic war. <laughs> All right, hippie time. Start off with some bright yellows. We have a nice neon pink headband here. There we go, look at that, wow. Very flashy. Guitar, let's go with this nice golden yellow. There we go, it's a lovely guitar color. And now for the actual xenomorph, uh, we'll go with this tone of gray throughout. I want this to look really like glum and depressing next to the really bright hippie colors so we can show that he's really you know, not acting like those that he was raised among. Oh man, this is looking majestic. And now we have some finishing touches in the drool, the gold chain on the <laughs> tongue, whatever you call it thing, the tongue creature. And uh, just a, a finishing touch of a little bit of smoke from the joint. Beautiful. Look at that. This is an artwork I never thought I'd make. And I'm not sure I'm entirely glad that I've made it, but here it is, the unsatisfied xenomorph, no longer happy to live the way he's lived among his horrible, violent kin, who begins his hippie quest to find peace and cheap marijuana. I don't know. <laughs> Look at this, what an adventure we have had. By the way, Twitch has been going at me for ages just to 
fill in the neck here. There you go. She's got a neck. Are you happy? Two new mums have gone zip lining, and then you've had a glimpse into my dank YouTuber disco dad future. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you want to have a go yourself, you can perhaps uh, try your hand at some of the ones that didn't win the voting. There were quite a few interesting suggestions there that didn't climb to the top, but also could be really interesting pictures. Make sure to tweet me at Josiah Brooks, and if you have a go with the Arty Games app, you can have a go at this game yourself, randomly generate any mixture of letters, and of course, there's a huge amount of arty and creative inspiration games and ideas here for you to play with. There is literally endless uh, combinations you can come up with in games you can play. Once again, there's that arty party mode where you can come up with a whole batch that you play again and again and again. You can create your profile with your own art supplies and colors so you can randomly generate colors from your supplies. It's all there. I'll link to it in the card in the description. So go check it out if you want to support my stuff and have a bit of fun on your own time. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video. Make sure to hit that like if you, well, I mean, come on. <laughs> Make sure to hit that like button, guys. And subscribe to Draw with Jazza for more fun with art and arty shenanigans. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell ebooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there. And you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later.